During the month of May 2017, a series of murders took place in a rather strange school, Project Learn School, whose classrooms contain no doors and whose students contain no sanity. This is the account of how it happened. Get off of those skates! Oh. As I was saying, my partner and I. That's me, Gluth! Mug Zatana, FJ Guido, Marino, Colombo, Banshee, Detective Extraordinary. My Gloss. partner and I were called in on the warm summer night of May 10th to investigate the murder. The murder of one Rebecca Rabbit. We got a recount of the events from the witnesses. It took place during a strange tribal meeting the school holds. Staff meeting. Me too, Bluff. Button use lips, Muggsy. Alright, guys. We have to decide what electives to teach next semester. Any suggestions? I could teach another yoga elective. The kids really seem to benefit spiritually from that. I'd be happy to join you, Doreen. I think we should do marathon prep. It would really get the kids in great physical condition. Well, as long as my elective includes sharp metal objects and aerosols and leaves dangerous things around the yard when we're done, I'm in. I could offer a dramatic reading of the Communist Manifesto. I have this great idea for an elective. It's like, well, hold on, let me take a step back. Well, I've noticed that the kids have been not doing enough work for the school. So that's why we should bring back the journalism elective. In fact, I think it should be the only elective, because if we offer slam poetry with Aisha, or marathon prep with Jane, or even a potential lawsuit with Joan, the kids will just pick one of those instead. Guys, I can't find my backpack. I'm like two hours late for the bus. Okay, Dorian? The next crime took place a few days later. On May 12th, a collection of events took place consoling in a tall man in a trench coat. Boss, I did Boss, I did it! I, t I said what you told me to say! Me too, you got the door! I know that. What's open? I don't know, guys. Teach yourself. Yeah. But, but don't you think? Don't you think that's weird? That that in the school of having our voice heard, that we didn't even trust us to open the doors. The day after, May 13th, the next murders took place. They centered around the Purple Stairs. Oh, I like purple. Why can't we use the Purple Stairs? No, it's a song fan. They're not that much different from the main stairs anyway. You know, we're gonna go through the Purple Stairs sooner or later, so I dare you guys to go up the Purple Stairs. No, it was your idea. You have to go up. 
Jennifer, Tom, Shelby, come up the stairs right now. We are playing on the dot. If an eighth grader wants us to come upstairs, we have to go the fastest way possible. And that's the point. This is like, like, I don't know. That's like Shelby. Bro. Tom, 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 Come here, little child. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, here we go. After the first two murders, I had a suspect in mind. That Eman character. Not only was she a master of card games and quick to violence, but she had also shown up at both murder scenes. Though no hard evidence had shown up at pointing in any real direction. So all I could do was wait. I would rather not say. Uh, age. Thirteen. I will be all right. It happened like this. By now, most of Project Learn suspected he man as the murderer, though no strong evidence confirmed those suspicions.
Appreciations. I want to appreciate us for not playing tag on the clever. Except for that incident a few days ago when someone died. It wasn't me at all. It wasn't me! Well, we're not going to point fingers. We're not going to say names. This is ridiculous. Everyone thinks it's me. <sighs> we don't point fingers at PL. We just love our students until they graduate. Or stop, or we appreciate Boss for finding the murderer. Did you find him, Boss? Did you find him? Yes, Muggsy. Okay, let me tell them who the murderer is. Based on the evidence we have found, we believe the only possible answer is Iman was the murderer. We don't use names. But you hired me to find the murderer. At Project Learn School, we don't use names. <sighs> it has to be Iman. Well, Less. It could be. <gasps> but, 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 boss! But, but, it couldn't be that. She, she's, she's tiny, and it was too tall to be her either. Yes, Muggsy. But what if? At this moment, it all came together in my mind. At staff meeting, they were hidden behind the curtains. Iman really did lose her backpack. I love my backpack too, boss. And the man in the trench coat. Too tall to be Iman, but just the right height to be Lily on Naja's back. Or oh, Naja on Lily's back. Button use lips, Muggsy. Okay, boss. <clears throat> and on the purple stairs, Lily was lurking in the closet. There was a bruise on that child's hand. Naja obliterated it. <laughs> and even though Iman looked guilty when she was found with the kid in the sink, honestly, she always looks guilty. True. And that boy named Gertrude. It would have taken two children to hold him down. That muscular hulk of a child. This is gonna be real good. Oh my god, we got to stop them! And it's too late!